everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with MLB 13 The Show, and we've got some Kevin Millar road to the show coming your way right here. Now, again, we are facing the Toronto Blue Jays, and the reason why I say that is it seems like every single time the Red Sox have a series against the Blue Jays, I don't get to skip past it at all. You know, every time we play them, I fall somewhere in the series uh, in the starting rotation. And, I mean, I don't like that too much. I don't have anything against the Blue Jays. Do not get me wrong. I don't want it to sound like I'm saying anything like that. But they're a very good team. They've got a lot of talent. And in the game, they usually rock it every single time. So it just makes it that much more difficult for me to go ahead and maintain the success that I'm having. You look at my stats when I face any other team besides the Blue Jays. Uh, and it's great. And then Blue Jays, it's like, yeah. If that, you know, it's just like, either that was terrible or that, that was mediocre. So, anyway, th what, what's cool about this game, too, is it's like knuckleballer versus knuckleballer. And I'm going to get this out of the way. I, I don't know. I feel like I have to say this every single video. I know Kevin Millar was not a knuckleball pitcher. I know he wasn't a pitcher at all in the major leagues. But... I decided to bring him out of retirement, so to speak, because I watched the next great knuckleballer. And, you know, he was a, a big part of that as the host. I'm like, that'd be cool to bring him back out of retirement as a knuckleball pitcher. But the Kevin Millar that I have recreated here in this game, uh, this is not like a tribute to him or anything like that. I've gotten that a few times. Like, is this a tribute to Kevin Millar with him pitching? No, 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 not at all. Um, but I know that the Kevin Millar that I have created is not necessarily a true knuckleball pitcher. So, yes, I throw my knuckleball a lot. Uh, about 50% of my pitches are the knuckleball. Uh, actually, it might be a little bit less than that. Uh, especially when you consider, like, late in the game, I don't throw my knuckleball nearly as much. But I've got a fastball that maxes out at 102 miles an hour. I throw that pitch quite a bit as well. So, not like true knuckleballer. But it's still going to be kind of cool to see R.A. Dickey versus Kevin Millar right here. The two greatest uh, pitchers who throw the knuckleball. There we go. In the game. So, we'll see how it ends up. No. All right. Oh, uh, real quick here. I'm kind of putting a plug in this in uh, every single video that I'm doing today. Uh, I am starting a new series here on the channel. I wanted to get your guys' feedback on it. Uh, it's a, a video game that just came out called Seven Days to Die. It is like Minecraft and DayZ put together. So if you guys wouldn't mind just checking it out, let me know what you think about something uh, like that on the channel. If you want that to be a regular occurrence, let me know. If not, same deal. Just be constructive about it. Man, that one's gone. That's the first home run that I've given up in a long time, it feels like. Uh, oh, well, we've still got plenty of game left to go. I mean, this is taking place in the second inning. And the way that the Red Sox, the way that, that, that we hit right now is just great. I mean, we're one of the top scoring teams in all of baseball. So I'm not worried about getting down by two runs this early. But if R.A. Dickey has a great game, well, there we go. Game is basically done and over with at this point. So time will tell. Ugh. So, um, kind of well, outside everything. I don't know what it is, but it seems like whenever I do the Kevin Millar series, I feel like I can just shoot the breeze with you guys, you know, just talk about anything. But, um, I, uh, whenever I do, like, Q&As and stuff for, you know, Kevin Millar, one of the questions that always comes up, what type of music do you listen to? Um, changes all the time. It really does. Sometimes I'll be in a mood where I'm just like, well, I want to listen to this type of music. And then a few weeks, months later, whatever it may be, I'm like, well, this actually sounds really cool. And then I'll go into a phase where I'll just listen to that type of music just for a ton of time. So I'm kind of in this mood right now, um, or like in this phase, I guess, where I'm going back and listening to like a whole bunch of classical music again. So my sister-in-law, who's ridiculously awesome, she's one of the coolest people I know. She bought a record player. Now, when I was growing up here, I was on, like, the tail end of records. I mean, I remember having a record player in the house and, and using them and then you know, going to a cabin out in Utah where they had a record player and stuff like that. And I don't know. So, like, being around a record player brought back a lot of, like, memories and stuff. And 
Uh, anyway, so she bought this record player and she brought it over to to uh, our house because my wife went shopping with her for it and, and got some other things too. But she, uh, my sister-in-law went to a garage sale and she bought a whole bunch of records. And there's this really, really old Frank Sinatra record that she got. You know, she got a few other ones too, which are really cool. But um, she's like, do you want to listen to one of them? I'm like, heck yes. When I was a kid and I was listening to records, it was all like the kids ones. Uh, very rarely would I actually like hear you know, like a, a, a normal song, if that kind of makes any sense whatsoever. But uh, she goes ahead, she puts the 45 in. It was the, the type of record that she was using. Dang it, another home run. It's going to make it four to nothing. All right, I am worried about how this is going to end up. But anyway, so she put that record in, and it was Frank Sinatra going, and a record it's, it's really tough to explain but the sound is just so different especially with the older ones uh, it seems at, at least this is what I feel it's got a more full and uh, a better quality sound that tends to be what happens with any analog recording uh, when played through an analog type of, of media like a record but man I like after listening to that it made me like want to go back and buy a record player myself so I'm sitting here and I'm just looking at them, you know, on eBay. I'm like, well, I've got some, you know, money here from doing YouTube. I could spend on it. And then I look at all the different types of records I could get too. And the reason why I'm on like this whole classical music thing right now is because when I think about what it sounded like with Frank Sinatra and how I got like the full feel of everything and it just sounded so much better, I'm just sitting here thinking I can't imagine what it would be like to have a record of you know a classical song like the, right at the beginning of Tchaikovsky's uh, 1812 Overture, like that would be really sweet. Or uh, I posted this on my personal Facebook, and hopefully you guys like aren't making fun of me for this at all. But um, Pavarotti, if you guys know who Pavarotti is, he's this opera singer, and there's this this famous song in opera that tenors sing called Nessun Dorma. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correct, but if you have seen the movie uh, Some of All Fears, I think it's at the very end where they're, um, well, spoiler alert, at the very end of the movie, of course, they're killing all the bad guys. There's this uh, opera song going on in the background, and that's Nessun Dorma. So if you have that movie, just pop it out real quick and you, know, you can listen to it. I think it's at the end, or maybe it's at the middle, but there's a, a part where the records going I think it is at the end but uh, anyway so I'm, I'm thinking how cool would it be to hear that and it, it, it's very very different than digital recording like you get as I mentioned the full sound so kind of been on this kick right now so uh, I'm even thinking too of like you know as I'm trying to work out and things like that to listen to a different type of music than besides just the hard rock and I've thought what would it be like to actually work out the classical music so I'm kind of appealing to you guys on this one, and I know that you know with the range of audience and stuff like that that I I have here on my YouTube channel, it's not like we're classical music people or anything like that. But I was just kind of curious if there's like a particular classical song uh, or classical music, like a symphony or something like that that you guys like listening to. I've got a, a few like string quartets from Beethoven that I've I've got on here. Some from Mozart as well. Kind of diving a little bit more into Tchaikovsky, but um, yeah. If you guys know of any anything uh, that I should try, I mean, definitely let me know here. Who knows? Maybe I'll buy the record of it too. But I don't know. I'm kind of holding back on it because records are really really different, uh, especially since they're so old. It's about like five, ten bucks for a record that's usually like one or two songs. So, I mean, it's not like I'm going to be sitting here and having like stacks and stacks of records and, and things like that, but I don't know. It'd be something I'd want to try. Maybe I'll just get one and, and see how that ends up going. But All right, so reaching the end of the, uh, the game here for Kevin Millar. Hasn't been the best. Two home runs, four runs, of course, for the Blue Jays. And the Red Sox, well, have been able to do nothing whatsoever. So this is going to be the last out here of the inning. But then I go ahead and I get pulled. While we are able to go ahead and get a couple runs, of course, two runs is not going to be more than four. So I'm going to sit here and get reamed, apparently, 
for giving up five hits over five innings. I don't know. Seven Ks? Come on. That's not too bad. It's not something you sit there and scold somebody about. But R.A. Dickey, though, definitely did win out in this one here between two knuckleballers. But you guys are awesome people. You really are. Thanks again for watching. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one.